We do want to get back to the breaking news we've been telling you about this morning, a hit and run in Hunting Park. Kelly Roll on the scene with the latest. Kelly. Well, Travis, I can tell you the roadway is back open. So we're on West Roosevelt Boulevard between Broad Street and Hunting Park Avenue. Again, police did open this roadway back up after having it blocked off. A woman was struck. This is a confirmed hit and run, and she is at the hospital in a critical condition. At this point, police say they do not have any information on the striking vehicle, maker model, uh, but it appears there were some people that came to help her almost immediately after the crash. We just spoke with two McDonald's employees that came out right after it happened. Put out my phone, dial 911. You no, know, they got here. Lady was laying over there, just she wasn't moving or anything like that. Whoever hit her, their car is very damaged. It okay. should be very damaged. I just feel like this intersection is just very dangerous, period. Heartless, careless, they have no remorse. I mean, how can you hit somebody and just pull off like that? You know, just imagine if it was your family member, how would you feel? You would want the person to stay. So you could hear from the one employee that based on the injuries he saw, he feels like this car would have some kind of damage to it and that they might have been traveling at a high rate of speed. Of course, police can't confirm that this morning, but they did again say that she is in critical condition. There are a number of businesses in the area that have cameras. Philly Laundry has some cameras. Uh, the restaurant next to it appears to have cameras. The McDonald's has cameras where those employees were working at the time. So no doubt police will be back out here to look at those. And again, it does sound like there were possibly some witnesses or at least people that were able to go to her and help her shortly after this crash so those are people that police would want to talk to as well of course anybody with information should come forward and call the accident investigation division hopefully someone will and those images should be out shortly appreciate the update kelly 704